are just throwing stuff we do, ball transfer stuff that really transcends. You can do it infielders, outfielders, catchers. Everybody's got to be able to play catch. So the first thing we're going to show you right now, guys, is partner up. So after we've we've thrown to get loose, okay, we're going to show you our throwing progression. Here you go, guys. There's baseballs right here. So you'll have it. So partner up. Let's throw this way. Go back to half court a little. Okay, we call it our slow swoop transfer. We're going to step to receive. So we're going to talk about getting our legs activated. We're in an athletic position. Our elbows need to be relaxed. Okay, and we're thumb to thumb. The hands have to work together. Okay, so all they're going to do when the ball's in the air, okay, they're going to step to receive with their glove foot. Okay, so we're talking about keep the ball moving. Time is equal to distance. We want to keep the ball moving. So I'm going to step to receive, and now I'm just going to replace my feet. Right goes to left, and my left goes to target. Okay, we go real smooth, so we're just nice and easy here. Boom, and then we're gonna work back, okay? Step to receive, hands work together. We try and center the baseball up. Okay, go ahead, guys, step to receive, nice and easy. So we want them to gain ground here. Okay, you can see how they're going forward. Step with their glove foot. Okay, good, Boom. very nice. So the next step, we get into about 45 feet. We'll do it, we're just gonna speed it up. Okay, now we call it quick feet. It's the same footwork, but now we're getting it out of our glove quick. Defle we deflect the ball, okay? We don't necessarily wanna catch it deep in our pocket. So same footwork, now I'm getting it out of my glove quick. It's just sped up a little bit. Here we go. Step for us, and I'm gonna. This is really quick. For our infielders, we add what we call a clock drill. Infielders have to be able to throw from all different arm slots. Okay, so we think about the faces of the clock: two o'clock, three o'clock, five o'clock. In this, my elbow is gonna lead me back. Short arm action. My head and my hand have to stay together. Okay. If I get separation here, now that ball is gone. Okay. So. So you go a couple at two, so they're going to go at two o'clock. Now the lower body is taken out of it. Okay, now they're going down to three. When they go to three, you're going to notice they're going to bend at the waist a little bit. Okay, keep the wrist behind the ball. This gets them used to throwing at different arm angles. Now go down to five for a couple. This is the tough play. Okay, this is the tough one. Head and hands stay together. All right, last one. Get a little bit closer. Quick toss. We don't move our feet at all. We're just going to deflect the ball and get rid of it as quick as we can. Do not worry about dropping the ball. They're going to say, oh, I dropped it. That's okay for us, all right? We just want to get it and get it out of our glove as quick as we can. Go ahead. Quick, quick. See, we don't worry about dropping it. That's all right. You can do, make it a competition. You do say, hey, first one to ten wins, okay? We don't worry about drop. We just want to go as quick as we can. Okay, good, guys. Uh, go get an incredible ball. You guys get an incredible. The next step for us every day is we go straight to our short hop progression. Here again. Now we're partnered up. Okay. We're going to start. Let's just move that shirt if you need to. Okay. So the big thing for us, a few coaching points when we talk about short hop. The center of gravity has to be low. Okay. Everybody gets lazy and our butt gets up and makes it harder. Okay. We talk about taking the underside of our thumb to the sky on every pick we do. It's right here. It's not this, they're gonna to wanna to break their wrist and do this. That's no good, okay? The underside of the thumb to the sky. Same thing if I'm going forehand, backhand, underside of the thumb, okay? My wrist doesn't break, but everything's soft. So we'll go, the first five we do, our throwing hand is behind us, boom, right here. Okay, go ahead, guys. Right in the middle. We're working ground up. Okay, that's our big thing, ground up, okay? We exaggerate the head, make sure we see it in the glove. Here again, we do this every day, all right? Incredible balls are a little bit harder. If we're inside on a rainy day, we'll take tennis ball and do all this stuff. Take the glove off, okay, hold it. Now we're going forehand. So we wanna turn our feet so they're both pointing in the same direction. My back knee is almost touching the ground, okay? It still needs to be fielded in front of your left toe. If the ball gets back here, I'll lose sight of it. It's a tougher play to make. 
in front of the left toe, same thing, reach out, go ahead. Soften the hands up, so they're just gonna turn, pivot, feed. Soften the hands up. Okay, good. Next one, we're gonna go backhand now. Now we're fielding it in front of our right toe, okay? The butt stays down, right in front of the right toe. We talk a couple different options. Some guys like to go straight up. We like to go get it just a little bit. It's not, this is the toughest one. This is the one they're gonna to wanna to break their ribs. And they wanna do this. Okay, go ahead, guys. Center of gravity, butt stays down. Really exaggerate the head. Okay? We do this every day. Okay, stop. Good, guys. So now we'll have fun with it. Okay, now we'll compete. It's your old short hop game. So now we're going to stay squared up. They can throw it any way they want. You bob it, it hits the ground, it's a strike. First one to three, lose. Okay? We'll have a tournament. Okay, winners are playing winners. Okay? So, go ahead, guys. Just show them to square up. You can throw it anywhere you want. They'll get, they'll get into it. Okay? Hang back. Hold it. All right, Pete, come over here. Rev it, stay here. Last the so the next step for us is we're going to throw off of a, we're going to add the throw to the pick. So Patrick's going to pick, and then he's going to make the throw. Because very rarely are you just picking and not doing anything. Okay? I've got a pick and relay. I'm making a short hop on the infield. Okay, you're going to pick and make the throw. Okay? He picks, throw. This is the fun one we call it, the gauntlet. Okay, Jordan, get up here. All right, you guys like all get out here with the ball. So everybody's gonna have, everybody got a ball? So, if we get, and I will stand behind them with the bucket, so they're gonna be throwing at him, short hops. He can't move. He's got a pig, but he cannot move his feet. If they miss one, I'm going to another ball. Go ahead, Brad. He's just going to pick it and throw it back to him. Yeah, or not. Keep going, good. So they can switch me. They will get going pretty fast. So that's a fun one we like to do, too. Okay? And that's our short hop progress. Good job, guys. Coach Walt, go ahead. Uh, I know you, a lot like me, but give you the digital guys to learn from. This next set of drills, uh, I'd say they could go ahead of the static throwing. These are what I call uh, run, reach, and receive types of drills. These are drills that have been done in camps with 9 through 12 years. These are specific to your guys. Uh, they're going to start off, they may not succeed at these drills quite like you got them visualized, or I might have them visualized, but they will get very good at this. Baseball is a game of running and catching the ball. Okay, and what the, all these drills uh, hopefully will show you that you don't run with your glove out and then just make it. So it's run, reach, and receive. Okay, the first one, guys, uh, the rundown relay. If you're gonna if you're gonna introduce re, uh, rundowns at any time you practice, a great warm-up drill for you guys. We do this before we even start the static throwing. You don't need to throw. Okay, run, run down relay. Make sure that they're passing, yeah. Make sure they're passing glove side to glove side. They're not crossing over in front of each other. Real simple little drill, and you're gonna, you're gonna initiate uh, your talk on on uh, rundowns. This is a great one to do. Okay. Big thing, we wanna make sure we're showing them the ball. They gotta be able to see the ball. They wanna catch it, run, and then it's, okay? Just make them show the baseball. Okay, the next one, let's get, uh, uh, I want you three guys right here, man in the middle. This is drill, guys, you're going to introduce later on in your practice uh, relays, cutoffs, and so forth. This is what we call the uh, man in the middle. Now be careful not to sing and hit Coach Doctor. He's a pretty good sized man. He's a man. got a bat in his hand also. Uh, key point. Well, let's let him get started, Coach Smith, to talk you through the key points. So, big thing here is we talk about siding the baseball. 
So when he sees it, he's going to go ahead and cheat. Okay? He's now moved his feet, and they may have thrown a little offline to make him really adjust and get his body in position. So, that wasn't a very good one there, but the other ones are pretty good. There you go. Watch out, Jordan's gaining ground. All he's doing is replacing his feet. A lot of guys want to do this. The ball doesn't go anywhere. You want to keep the ball moving. Okay? We talk too, we do, do a regular rocket relay, and we compete. We'll go four or five deep. We're just the first one, we'll play to five, okay? So we talk about in a game situation, that's good, guys, okay? We gotta move our feet side to baseball. We either wanna get a long hop or no hop, okay? Not just side to side, but up and back as well. Spread it out, get five or six guys. Once you get this under control, get you five or six of them. You got 12 kids on your team, six on the team, whatever you want, stretch them out. Do the, this uh, man in the middle all the way down and back. Nice race. Work on speed. Work on it. They're going to drop it. They're going to throw it over the head. All those things are going to happen to you. They'll get good at this. They'll get good at this. Uh, next one we're going to do, yeah, the two bucket guys is, uh, right here, George. Another bucket over there. Everybody line up that bucket. Stay with me, man. Stay with me. Yeah. Okay. This one real quick. They run side to side. Got to run, reach, receive, put the ball in the bucket. Go. Okay. Enough of that. Just a, a drill that you can get them out before practice it and, and get this. Get this going. Okay, uh, next, uh, uh, football. Everybody get a ball. Everybody get a ball. Coach Smith at one end. Coach Whitman, at, Coach Whitman, if you come over here, this way. Okay. Fun drill. They love this. Call it football drill. We got it. Guys, you got one of the finest basketball coaches ever coached the game right there. I'm pointing at him. He's shaking his head. Yeah, that's all right. I don't care if he shakes his head. I had a great opportunity to do a lot of his games, so I don't care. All right, here we go. A little football. Here we go. Chase it. A little fly pattern. Here we go. Handing the ball, go. All right, Drew, stay on the other side. Here they go. Coming back. Find it. Whoa! Yes, yeah, and just by changing the side, it's this or it's this. Catcher, <laughs> defensive tackle, place kicker, <laughs> place kick holder. Okay. One variation of this, guys. We do, we'll do this. We'll do this with, with no gloves and tennis balls to get guys to catch the ball in the right part of their hand. We make him hold one ball and catch it right here, okay? So Patrick's gonna start with the ball in his hand. Go, So he's got to catch that ball properly, okay? Guys catch it in the heel, all right? That's gonna force him to catch it, catch it the right way. Okay, um, but before he, when he calls quits on us, I'm gonna put all of this, and I'm not gonna get to all of it, all of this is gonna be on our website. Description of each of these drills, Everything, so when I leave stuff out, go to the website. Even the tackle can find that. Go to the website and get these drills. Coach, let's fast forward to, uh, uh, let's go to square drill. Square, okay. that's the best thing to. We do our next, so after we'll do our short hops and stuff, we'll go big box 